What's up, everybody? This is Sean Turners, and this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. Uh, people make me mad, man. And to be honest with you, I'm a pretty socially awkward guy, and I really don't care. You know, people tell me I have issues, and my response is, so what, you gonna be my therapist and listen to them? Get, get on, I don't really care. And the contradiction is, I work in retail. <laughs> you know? But... <laughs> I really like the money and retail is really not bad. It's just, I can't stand stupidity and pure ignorance at its finest. Cause you know, I gotta bite my tongue to not, cause first of all, I really don't want to get my butt kicked cause you know, I'm kind of a handsome guy and I don't want anybody hitting this. So I keep my, what's that, did my door open? Nope. All right, see, y'all get the unedited version of this because I'm not finna go back and cut that out. You know, y'all get the pure unedited version. And a lot of times I freestyle. So anyway, I don't want anybody hitting me in my face because of something that I said that's true and pisses people off because I'm pretty a direct guy. But <laughs> I was at this, I was ringing some girls up one time and uh, it was three little white girls. And yeah, they take place in the story because, you know, I just want to say that they're three little white girls. And they, you know, there was youngest middle and oldest I'm guessing and uh, I rang up one of them and uh, one of the girls goes uh, I ring up one of the girls and she comes up 26 cents short now I don't have it in my pocket to give it to her because you know I'll give you 26 cents or if you don't have that type of change I'm gonna let you walk out of the store with you know and just bring it up because I'm not gonna let you not enjoy your stuff for 26 cents or 50 cents you know because 50 cents won't matter to my register anyway so, you know, she's 26 cents short. She buys some candy because, of course, that's what little girls buy. She buys candy, and she's 26 cents short. And all of a sudden, she, I go, you know, you're 26 cents short. She goes, oh. She immediately starts fumbling for her candy, I mean, for her money. And she turns to the youngest girl and goes, hey, do you have 26 cents? And she bends over a little bit, and she goes, well, you know, you should give me the 26 cents because I'm old. And, you know, you know how people say, you know, I'm old and they're actually old or they say they're old. I said, it kind of made me go, you know, get the fuck out the store because I was like, you're old. And so I immediately, I guess I took advantage of the fact that she was 20, I mean, that she was 13 years old. I said, so how old are you? She was like, 13. And I was like, oh, my God, you're so old. Jeez, life is passing you by. Oh, so I kind of, kind of, I was being condescending for the fact that I knew I could get away with it, but the fact that it was so stupid, it made me mad. It's like, why would you say that? And you go, oh, well, they're young. Okay, I got another story for you, all right? I was, you know, not all my stories take place in the store, but, you know, a couple of them do. So I was working in the back, and I was putting up some dog food, and all of a sudden, this guy, he looked cracked out. He comes up to me and goes, hey, where's your restroom? And I was like, hey, bro, it's up at the front in front of the soap and this, his first his the first thing out of his mouth was are you sure your, your bathroom and I was like yeah it's up at the front in front of the soap you can't miss it so he goes the bathroom the restroom so I was like I know this brother is not asking me the same freaking question again after I just told him and I work here so he immediately so you know I, I blow him off all of a sudden he comes right around this corner you know because he had walked off after that and so and I had walked off because I was like, I'm not answering this question again. Immediately he comes back and goes, Your restroom, bro? It's up front. And I went, you know, it took a lot for me to go, Are you freaking serious. I said it's up at the front. Don't be stupid, bro. And he even looked cracked out anyway, so I kinda didn't fuck. It was just the fact that he asked me the same question four times. So I was just boiling with hate and I enjoyed it a little bit because I get to go home and make fun of this guy. And you know, <laughs> I know I just made a video about social media, but nobody knows who this guy is, so I can do that. Or no, nobody knows who these three little white girls are, so I can do that. You know, don't ask me stupid questions, or don't say anything out of pure ignorance and think it's funny, because I'm going to go home and boil with hate and make funny. Let's see if I got another video. We're going to wait. Hold on. Pause. Okay, unpause. I really paused that video. Uh, There was this one time I was about to hook up with this one chick, and... You know, <laughs> I'm not going to put her status out there because it's not for me to judge. But, oh, let me correct this. Uh, <laughs> she was like, you know, as you know, as we were sitting there talking, she was like, well, Sean, I haven't been with anybody in, a, you know, in six months. And I was like, oh, that's pretty good. You know, I guess you're saving yourself or you took a break. And she goes, yeah, I don't count drunk sex as sex. And I was like. 
Excuse me? What do you mean? She said, you know, I just don't count that as sex because it's such a tease. And I was like, are you in my head? Yeah, of course I didn't say this because I'm trying to get some. And <laughs> you don't, I learned don't talk, your, don't talk, don't answer questions inappropriately. And I'm actually going to make a video about that before you're about to get some. So anyway, uh, so in my head I was like, so if this dude gives you a herpy and you're drunk, did you, are you still not going to count that? And you're going to be like, well, I didn't sleep with him officially but you have an official herpy that's an official herpy on your face if you got that like don't say nothing stupid like <laughs> i guess that's why i must stay in the house that's why i stay in the house a lot because i really don't like you know being bothered and i really don't like bothering people but when you're around me be mindful because i'm a very practical guy you know what i'm saying like i'm a pretty practical guy and then I had this conversation with this other guy. These are just examples to make you laugh and just, you know, raise stupidity on the world. Uh, I, You know, ironically, I'm listening to Lil Wayne, but I, I stopped listening to this guy because his music is complete crap to me now. And I was in the car with this guy, and uh, he was like, I was talking, I was like, man, I don't really like Lil Wayne anymore. You know, I used to like him, like the, his music. But now I don't like him. And his and the guy in the back seat was like, well, I guess you never liked him then. And I went, what do you mean? I just said I used to like him. Now I don't like him. And he goes, well, you don't like him anymore. I was In my head, I was like, so do you... Like, I really wanted to bash this guy. I was like, this is probably... You know, I'm not going to put where... You know, I'm not going to put his status out there because he's kind of close to a few mutual friends. But I was like, are you freaking serious? Do you not know your past and present tense, mofo? It's like did, like did for the, I'm getting ghetto. It's like did past tense. <laughs> now I dislike him or I liked him in the past. Now I dislike him. Let's think about this people. Come on now. But you know, this is just to make you laugh and I'm Sean and I'm signing out with another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing People.